San Francisco has become ground zero for the autonomous vehicle revolution. With hundreds of driverless cars from companies like Cruise and Waymo seemingly popping up from nowhere to traverse the city streets. Companies went from limited private testing last year to just recently offering the public paid rides, much like an Uber or a taxi cab. It's like they moved from the science experiment stage to full-fledged rideshare services in the blink of an eye. So let's break down that timeline and how the hell it happened so fast. The first thing to understand is that while many people point the blame at the city of San Francisco for allowing the vehicles free reign over the city, the companies are actually under state regulation. This is because the two agencies that permit driverless cars to operate and for them to charge money are both state agencies, the DMV and the California Public Utilities Commission. Essentially, these companies don't need San Francisco's permission to operate on the city streets. So what do San Franciscans have to say about the influx of these futuristic cars? Some have welcomed them, but others have raised concerns about safety and oversight. For instance, as fleets expanded, high-profile incidents started mounting. The group Safe Street Rebels is placing cones on Cruise and Waymo cars as a way to temporarily stop them. In response to these incidents, critics, including San Francisco's fire department and transit bosses, argued that the cars aren't ready and have called for restrictions. But with state regulators in control, San Francisco had little power other than voicing its concerns. And on August 10th, California removed the final barriers for the companies and gave the green light for unlimited driverless deployment, despite protests. Now, San Francisco is pushing for more oversight, like remote operators for each car. But Cruise and Waymo continue expanding amid the turbulence. The road ahead remains unclear, and as companies seek to scale up, questions will undoubtedly loom about safety, accountability, and local control. But whether San Franciscans embrace or reject robo-taxis, it appears these driverless cars are here to stay. Buckle up! The ride may be a little bumpy as these cars evolve on public roads, 